everyone and welcome to my channel Jen's Here's Your Home. I am so glad you decided to join me today in talking about Vera Bradley. I know all my Disney fans love her Disney patterns but Vera Bradley is a special thing in my heart just because it's based in Indiana. So it was founded by Patricia Miller and Barbara Bradley and created all these amazing, beautiful patterns and kind of allowed women to express themselves through accessories, um, through their color choice, through their style. So it is a great, great handbag, travel bag, beach bag, kind of whatever you want to pick, they have it. So basically what I am here to do today is just going to give you some helpful tips of how you can go to the annual outlet sale for Vera Bradley. And so this is the brochure that comes with one of the event sessions and they provide you this big map. Um, you can see all the different tables have different items on them. Um, usually things are about oh, at least 50% off. And sometimes, sometimes throughout the week, there will be additional discounts on items. So if you go on a Wednesday, which is like the first day of the sale, things may not be as discounted as Sunday, which is the last day of the sale. But then you're running into the risk of, well, is there going to be anything left? And I had experience on this trip that we took, which one, we went on a Thursday. No, scratch that. We went on a Friday and then we went on a Sunday. And both of those were completely different events, completely different experiences. So, Tip number one is deciding which day you want to go. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all cost $5 for, I believe, a two and a half hour session. So basically, you arrive for your designated window and you are the only people who bought a ticket who are allowed into that session to shop. Which means there's less crowds, less people fighting over a certain style, certain bag, whatever the case. Um, but you also have a limited time frame, and a lot of people have to take off work, which, you know, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. So Saturday and Sunday are free to go and you have unlimited amount of time to shop. So basically choose your date. Do you want to pay $5 and make sure you get items that you're wanting or go for a free day and basically you know get whatever's left but it could be a better deal so it just depends um next is when you have decided on your day kind of have an idea of what you want to buy so a lot of times I will create a list of just a general idea of kind of things that I would like to pick up for myself for family for friends for um, clients whatever the case co-workers uh, you can really get a lot of great gifts here, so that's what I tend to do. Basically, just kind of create a list of a general idea of what you want to buy. And this way, it kind of helps also keep your budget together because, yeah, I I spent a lot of money at this one and I'm, I'm still just flustered about it. So, you know, what can you do? Um, so, okay, basically, then once you get there, like I showed you, you get this amazing map and it's got all the different things and you guys can pause it here if you wanted to look at it a little more closely, kind of see all the items that are there. But I really use this as kind of my guide, okay, circling where do I want to go, what are my number one most important places to hit, um, what is the kind of strategy of how I want to maneuver around this place because you don't have to go down the path. You can go from here to here to here to here. Does it matter? You can do whatever you want to do. It's your shopping day. It's your two and a half hours. It's up to you. Do what you want. Buy what you want. Um, 
So basically, and then it kind of goes through all the different items. I like to do when I get there a little bit early to go through, kind of circle some items, and that way I kind of have a guide of where I want to go before I'm just in there and thrown to the masses. So basically, once you're in the sale, it's all chaos and basically this goes out the window and my tip is if you see something that you like but you're not sure about, just grab it, put it in your giant bag that they give you and that way when you're done you can kind of sort off to the side, you have all the items um, and I do that a lot because of the fact that I just am grabbing things from left and right and I really don't know what I have until I'm down in my last 30 minutes and I'm kind of like, okay, I have these massive bags and I think I really need to figure out how much am I spending, what's going on, what do I need actually and what do I want. So. You know, it's it's really a good idea to just kind of grab it at the time. It's better than having to go back through the mass of people and try to find what you were looking for. And a lot of times it could be sold out. So, you know, I've been in that scenario where I had picked something up and then thought, wow, this is a great gift. I should get more. And then they were all gone. So, you know, don't be like me. Then again, once you're done, you go over to the sorting table, kind of sort it out. Try to stay on budget a little bit. Um, I know that's difficult, but try to stay on budget. And then I always tend to wait to the very last second because every time we've done that, we have had the least amount of time waiting in the lines for checkout. So the checkout process is very, very stressful. Um, just because there's always a ton of people trying to check out at the same time. Um, but I t I found that the later you wait, the better it is. Um, we've had no wait in the last few times that we went and we were literally like last call. They were ushering us out the door. And if you are an Indiana native, I will say check out the Indianapolis Star, check out local newspapers, check out a ton of different places and sometimes there are coupons. Um, one big thing too that they advertise is if you bring a can you can get a discount off a certain dollar amount off your total purchase. But that's pretty much it honestly. Uh, I hope you guys sometime join me in the future. I pretty much go every year and I would love to see some of you guys there. So next April when it rolls around hit me up and maybe we can do a meetup or something. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and please, if you would, like, comment, subscribe, and then if you would like to see more videos, hit that little bell notification and you'll be able to join me anytime I upload something new. But thank you guys again for joining me and upcoming will be a haul of everything that I got and let's just say it was, it was massive. So, <laughs> alright, thanks guys, have a great day.